we, 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 we love to continue later. Welcome back to the second part of the KTN Russia 2018 show right here in studio. We are taking a look at the matches that are going to be played later on today. And of course, we have our PS Challenge right here in studio based on the matches that will be played later on in the evening. First match, of course, Belgium, uh, rather the first match of the day, Mexico taking on Brazil. And then later on, we'll be having Belgium taking on Japan. Right now, of course, Abdul representing Japan and then Ashley representing Belgium. The match tied 2 all. Remember the first match? Ashley won that match 2-1. But we want to take a look at the matches that we've played later on right here in studio. And uh, we are giving you a chance to walk away with a brand new jersey. And uh, courtesy of GoTV, we are asking a very simple question. Remember, you have to tweet with the hashtag KTN Russia 2018. The question, very simple. How many goals have been scored from open play so far in the World Cup? Uh, rather, which team has scored most open play goals so far in the World Cup and how many goals has that team scored? Which team has scored the most open play goals so far in the World Cup and how many goals has that team scored? Of course, the first correct answer gets to walk away with this jersey. We want to continue with our conversation right here in studio. But before we do that, Angie, has football ever made you so mad that we broke stuff? <laughs> I will be lying if I say no. Yes. Sometimes I gotten so emotional, I have overreacted. Uh -huh. I have thrown my phone or the remote. Yes. Shiko? No. You've never. Now, one fan in Argentina, when Argentina lost to France on a 4-3 scoreline, he threw his TV out of his house. So let's take a look at that. <laughs> Well, I don't know about you, but I know I wouldn't throw my TV out because Argentina lost. But it's all about the passion that people have. Uh, Shiko, will you do that? <laughs> Never. You will never. never. Angie has said that she's uh, thrown away a phone. Yeah, small things. Yeah. Not a whole TV screen. I mean, that's another level of crazy. Okay, that's another level we of have crazy. to agree. That's another level of crazy. <laughs> yes. And another level of uh, passion. Yes. Yeah, the passion, passion that the Argentinian fans out of had uh, uh, when you talk about their their team. So we get back into the fixtures that we for the teams that we have this evening. And remember, the first match, of course, Brazil, four times World Cup champions, will be taking on Mexico, and then later. Later on in the day, Belgium will be taking on uh, Japan. Let's begin with uh, Angie, Brazil, Mexico. What are your, what are your expectations? Uh, well, uh, both teams are not bad. And uh, Brazil has been playing a good game since they started. Uh, even Mexico. I mean, for both teams, I would say it will end like yesterday, mm. where both teams will struggle to score and then defend and then extra minutes and then penalties because uh, most people are saying most people are hopeful about Brazil uh -huh. I'm not so sure about both teams honestly I don't care about any of those teams so <laughs> uh, Shiko, Shiko, let me bring you into this these are the two superstars that yeah. uh, we are we are most probably likely to see make a change in these two teams when you talk about their fixture this evening Neymar for Brazil Chicharito that is Javi Hernandez for uh, Mexico. Yeah. Do you expect these two guys to bring out to be in their best? So far, we've not we've not seen Neymar, Neymar. on his best in the tournament. So far, yeah. he has one goal. Chicharito the same, one goal in the tournament. Do you expect them to be in their A game when you talk about the round of 16 clash between the two sides? I think first of all, I'll hide the Neymar face and why, put why? Coutinho there. You want to take out Neymar, put yeah, Coutinho. Yeah, why yeah, take yeah, out yeah. Neymar, put Coutinho? Because everyone has been concentrating on Neymar. Neymar. He's the most fouled player so far in the World Cup. I know, according yes. to how much he was worth that yes. stuff. But when they are all focusing on Neymar, mm -hmm. Coutinho has been scoring goals. Yes. And he has been saving Brazil. Yes. So I would, I would rub off Neymar, Neymar and put on Coutinho. Put on Coutinho. Okay. And Going on to the game. And when you talk about... Uh, Mexico? I think Are you Mexico going to go with uh, Chicharito or you're going to go with Ivan Lozano? <laughs> I think I'll go with Herrera actually. Herrera, you'll <laughs> yeah, go with yeah. Herrera. Yeah, he's, he's been, been doing amazing. Some wonderful, yeah. some wonderful work yeah. with the team. Yeah, he's been amazing. Yes. So now, according to the games, yes. I think Mexico will win. I think uh, Brazil was put against 
some... Uh, Switzerland the, actually showed the flaws that Brazil has. Yeah, yes. I know. And uh, going to Mexico, they actually beat Germany. Yes. You can... You can only imagine Germany. We can only I think imagine. Neymar has not been, uh, the Brazil side has not been tested enough. Yes. We'll test them tonight. 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 So let's talk to one Brazil fan that we have here in studio, and that is uh, none other than Abdul. Brazil, Mexico. Neymar, is he going to be the man that actually pulls Brazil to the quarterfinals, or are we going to see Coutinho, as Shikoa said, being the main man once again? Uh, our main man today will be Thiago Silva, who will cool captain Brazil tonight. The second oldest goal scorer for uh, Brazil. Brazil after Bebeto. Yes. The oldest is Bebeto. Uh -huh. So today's game, I'm going for my beloved Brazil. Yes. 2 1. But uh, you know, as a Manchester United fan, I like Chicharito. So the game will go 2 1. Neymar and uh, Thiago. Mm -hmm. That's Ashley, Ashley, Chicharito. What are your thoughts? You, I know you want Brazil out of the tournament, yeah. but what are your thoughts? <laughs> Brazil will not win today. Brazil will not win today. Yes. So let's take a look at the possible lineups of these two teams. We start with Brazil. Who do we expect to be in goal? We expect Alisson to be in goal. Then the defense will have uh, Fagner, Thiago Silva, Miranda and Felipe Luiz. Uh, we are not sure if Marcelo will be will make it to the team today have, uh, after having sustained an injury in their match against Serbia. Then in midfield we have Paulinho Casemiro who has been the engine of that midfield and William. Then the attack, the forward line, led by Coutinho, Gabriel Jesus, and uh, Neymar. This is how we expect Brazil to line up today. But remember, this is not the official uh, lineup. The lineup will come out at around 4 p.m. That's an hour before the two teams line up. So we take a look at the other lineup that is for uh, Mexico. In uh, goal, we expect Ochoa to be in goal. Then the defense will be led by Salcedo, Ayala, Galado and Layun. Then midfield, we have Joe Dos Santos, uh, Herrera, Guadado. Then the attacking lineup, we have uh, Carlos Vela, Hernandez, and Hyvin uh, Lozano. So that is how we expect the two teams to line up. But how did Mexico get into qualifying for the round of 16? So we take a look at you know, the build up for this match. The other fixture of the day will be between Belgium and Japan. Of course, we want to take a look at the two stars for those teams, Belgium and Japan. Eden Hazard, of course, the main man, the captain for Belgium. And also we have uh, Shinji Kagawa for Japan. These are the two guys that we expect to make a difference in that match. But remember so far, Romelu Lukaku has four goals in the tournament. Harry Kane has five goals. Romelu Lukaku is the second top scorer of the tournament. So how do we expect these two teams to line up so far? Before we take a look at how they line up, these are the top scorers that we have so far. Harry Kane, five goals. Cristiano Ronaldo, who is out of the tournament, four goals. Romelu Lukaku still in the tournament, four goals. Denis Cherishev, three goals. And then Diego Costa, three goals. Denis Cherishev still in the tournament. Diego Costa out of the tournament. So the golden boot will be between Christi uh, Harry Kane, Romelu Lukaku, and Denis Cherishev. But we are yet to see whether other players will step up and... Uh, of course, go beyond what Hurricane has done so far. So we take a look at the lineups for Belgium. In between the goal, we have Couture. Then the three-man defense, we have uh, Vatongen, Company, and Alderweireld. Then the midfield, it's a team that is made of uh, superstars. We have Kevin De Bruyne, Alex Witzel. We have uh, Yanni Carrasco and Munia. Then uh, the attack, of course, drives Mertens, Romelu Lukaku, and Eden Hazard. Let's take a look at how Portugal, uh, rather Japan, might line up tonight when they take on Belgium at 9 p.m. We have uh, Kawashima in between the posts. Then we have uh, Hirosaki Sakai, uh, Maya Yoshida, Jen Shoji, then Nagatomo. Then in midfield, we have Shiba.